Hi, this is Steve Vanderbilt with RegimeChange.org. I didn't talk about this, this uh, subject today until the day. Today is April 1st, April Fool's Day, the day that the United States government decided to make Census Day. And we just got done watching an interview by Robert Groves, the head of the Census Bureau. And in uh, the interview with Mr. Groves, he said, for every 1% of the people that send this back, the government saves $85 million. And that if everybody would send this back, then we would save $1.5 billion. And he has a dream that he could send all that money back to the United States Treasury to be so good on us taxpayers. Boy. Well, let's look at this. See, the government's been so hell-bent to count all of us that they've sent me three letters. Okay? First, they sent me this letter. Okay? And it was sent first, oh, sorry, first class mail. Pre-sorted. Okay? And this letter says, Dear resident, I like being called resident. It makes me feel like it's spam mail. About one week from now, you should receive your 2010 census form in the mail. Blah, 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 blah. Signed, Robbie Groves. Okay. Then, in the middle, I get this lovely card in the mail. First again, first class mail. And it says, a few days ago you should have gotten a request to participate in the 2010 census. Hmm, they've been telling us it's against the law if we don't, and that we could go to jail. But it's a request to participate. Hmm, interesting. First class mail, 44 cents. First one's 78, this is 48, this, this is 44. Then I got this, the census, okay? 3.5 ounces, 95 cents, okay? Once again, first class mail. It's more than 3.5 ounces. So let me pull some things out of there. Oh, nice little form here says, this is a message from the director of this U.S. Census Bureau. Please complain and send the form back, blah, blah, blah. We need this information to tell about the schools and everything else and so on and so forth. Okay? On the back of this, it says, your answers are confidential. Federal law protects your privacy and keeps your answers confidential under Title 13, United States Code, Sections 9 and 214. The answers you give on the census form cannot be obtained by law enforcement or tax collection agencies. Your answers cannot be used in court. They cannot be obtained by the Freedom Information Act. Request. As allowed by law, census data must becomes public after 72 years. Title 44, U.S. Code, Section 12108. This information can be used for family history and other types of historical research. Please visit our website. Blah, 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 blah. Reading it? When was the last time that the government ever worried about breaking the law? Obamacare? Unconstitutional. Two wars. No act of Congress. Saying they're legal. Executive orders. Overriding the constitutional authority. Break down the checks and balances. Do we need to go on and on and on? And they're wrong. See, historically speaking, the Census Bureau, the federal government specifically, the Census Bureau being their agent of information, has used the information repeatedly against U.S. citizens. At the, um, after bombing of Pearl Harbor, those citizens that were foolish enough to answer Japanese or Asian on the census forms were rounded up using census data and thrown into tournament camps. Repeatedly, the federal government, specifically the Internal Revenue Service, has used this information to locate people from the answers that have been given. So you understand that each, each one of these census forms has your address on it, okay? Go through the internet and take somebody's in research, but I'm going to show you exactly how you do this form, okay? Now, legally, 
you have to answer how many people are here on April 1st. Don't count your dogs and cats, horses, chickens, whatever. And if you got somebody sleeping on the couch but they officially don't live there, don't count them either. Um, since there's no one else here this month but me, okay, uh, let's give them a little note for everything else. Okay. Right there. Start here. Answer here. One person. The rest of that, do not exceed your authority. Or as Eric Cartman say, you thought I. Okay? Do not do it. Now, here's the interesting part. Since we only took an envelope off that, this is still over three and a half ounces. So when we send this back first class mail, another 95 cents. So three dollars and twelve cents for the federal government to know that I'm party of one in this house on April 1st, April 1st, 2010. What happens if they'd ask me March 26th? What happens if they ask me April 7th? Hmm. So, that is how you legally fill out the census form. Now, from today's day, I have two weeks to return this. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. You decide. And for today, April Fool's Day, I'm Steve Vanderbilt for RegimeChange.org. Thank you.